Greetings, fellow Degorans, and welcome to a episode of Let's Talk About. And I'm here with Brandon. So, uh, do you want to introduce yourself, Brandon? About yeah. Hi. Everything? Yep. So, um, I have a YouTube channel called The Wizard Tim Gaming, and uh, I make videos like let's plays and gameplays, all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I see you doing Skyrim at the minute as well, which is relevant to yeah. this video. Yeah. Skyrim and a little Destiny. Yeah. Yeah, what do you, do you play on the PlayStation 3? Is that what you, I think I've seen you play? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I Mainly PS3. The videos are PS3, but I've played on the PC before. Yeah. Cool, so, um, yeah, this is basically a collaboration, so um, we decided to do a video on this channel, and um, I'm taking part in a video on Brandon's channel as well, which is cool. So, um, basically what this is going to be is a, dis is a, um, a discussion video on the Elder Scrolls series, because we're both a fan of it, so... We'll kind of see how it goes from there. So, um, just before we get into it, I was just wondering, what Elder Scrolls games have you played in the past? Um, I've played I've played uh, Skyrim, of course, yeah. and a, a little bit of Oblivion and Morrowind. Yeah. But um, mainly Skyrim because I've had on the, you know, actual PS3, so I've had more to experiment with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My um, my first real one was Skyrim. Like, I've, I've definitely put the most hours into Skyrim. But I went back. Yeah, as well. I, I went back to as well to play uh, Oblivion and Morrowind, and uh, yeah, yeah, they're Mo good games. Yeah, yeah, Morrowind I'd say was a struggle to get through because you know it's a, it's dated, isn't it? You know, with the graphics and combat. Yeah, and like they don't really tell you what to do. It's just like you, here, you're on an island. Go, go do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, go do stuff. But like, uh, it was a shock during the first time you die in Morrowind that you feel like all you, when all your progress is lost because you need to auto save, don't you, as you go along. Oh yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the, I remember um, the co-creator of the channel as well. When he uh, first played, he used to do the let's play. Of, he did a let's play Morrowind back in the day, and he uh, died like five or six episodes in, and then he just lost everything and he was devastated. So he was, he was like oh. right back to square one. So you know, yeah. So um, how much of um, say Oblivion have you played? Did you get quite far into it? Um, I didn't. I actually have never beaten Oblivion, but um, I. I've, I've gone pretty far into it. I didn't progress through the main quest. I just kind of go around and kill people and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've, um, I, I kind of... I beat Oblivion eventually. Like, I was a big... I got... At, this, at the start, I was wondering whether I could, you know, get through it. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of dated compared to Skyrim, isn't it? But, uh... Yeah. I, uh... Once I found... If you, if you ever think of playing it again, and play the uh, Dark Brotherhood questline, because it's so much better than Skyrim. It's insane. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part of that, and you, like it's just such a good way to start off the game. Yeah, it's it's been, the quests that you get in the Dark Brotherhood are so they're, they're epic, you know, like taking out the Emperor on his ship and everything. Yeah, and like I just love how they make you actually like like try to think about what you're doing and how you have to make a list of like what you've got to do in an order, and make yeah. sure you don't get caught through any of it. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's so different, you know, to all the other you know factions and skills because like all the other ones are kind of you know you're the good guy and you're saving everyone and like that brother you feel yeah. like you're doing bad and it's 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 different you know yeah and they actually make it feel like you're actually part of the brotherhood and yeah and everything it, like that it's it's really fun yeah and it's got the in, it's got like interesting characters as well like astrid and the night mother like uh, yeah i was terrified you know the first time you go into the coffin with the night mother and you see a like dead body and, and it's like dark around you. I, I was terrified the first time that happened. I was like, like, I'm a necrophilia or something. Like, what's happening? Yeah, I was. <laughs> when that happened, I was like, whoa, what's going yeah. on here? <laughs> yeah. like, am I gonna be locked in here? Because they they do keep it on the face for a little. Like when you're looking at it, it's just like that's kind of yeah, because uh, weird. Yeah, because uh, if I recall right correctly, you can hear Sirio, isn't it, in the background? Because he's like talking to the that mother. Because you're kind of trying to. Um, uh, listen to what he's been up to because apparently like, he's the one who's been causing havoc isn't he and then yeah and when he first came up he was talking about the mo the night mother and everything like yeah. that yeah it's a it's an interesting quest line and um it's it's, de it's de i think it's my favorite quest line in the elder scrolls games anyway yeah for sure yeah um did you um give a chance to the elder scrolls online if you played that um i i haven't played that yet but i'm actually i'm hoping to soon yeah it looks good though. I've seen a lot of gameplays of it. Yeah, um, 
it's it's different. Like um, if you're going in there expecting to be like a normal Elder Scrolls game, it's a bit disappointing. But it is fun in the sense that you can play with your friends. You know. Yeah. Like um. Yeah. Um. Me and my me and a few of my friends have played it in the past, and we we enjoyed aspects of it. But I don't I don't know. I played a lot of MMOs before, so I've kind of been there and done that. You know. Yeah, it's it's really got that MMO feel. It's not. It's not what you'd expect if you're trying, if you're just, you know, finishing up playing Skyrim and Oblivion. It's yeah. like, yeah, I it's know way different. Played. Yeah, it is, yeah. Have you played an MMO before? Yeah, I've played a lot. Yeah. But... Yeah, so like, if if, if you kind of like that, then you'll probably love ESO. If, if, you, yeah. if you love MMOs and like the Elder Scrolls, it's kind of the perfect game, really, because it's, it is good to, you know, there's a, there's a lot of the world to explore. So you do see a lot, which is, which I enjoyed. Personally. Yeah, the be- best part is like you finally get an Elder Scrolls game that you can actually play with, like your friends. Yeah, yeah. Because there's been so many times I've been playing Skyrim and I've been in a dungeon and it's like, oh, I wish my friend was here now, just help me or just to ex- yeah. exper- experience. Do you know that first time you fought a dragon in Skyrim, and oh, you, you just you just yeah. think like it'd be epic to have your friends with you at that time. Yeah, like one person just taking all the hits and yeah. you're just sitting there like <laughs> bashing on it. It'd be yeah. so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, what kind of race do you tend to play in Skyrim? Do you have, like, a favorite race or anything? Um, for Skyrim, I, I normally just use a Nord. Yeah. Uh, and I play as a girl. I, I don't know. It's just a thing I normally do. Uh, like, in my Let's Play, I named my, my character Tammy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, just, yeah, I just, just I normally do, like... that a... movie now, you know, the film Tammy with Melissa McCarthy. Um, I, th- I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even pay attention to the names of movies i watch oh. <laughs> which i'm just like oh this looks good yeah. so um yeah, yeah but go on go on what are you gonna say oh yeah just i i like to play like as the normal race where you know you fit in with everyone else because I, it, it just feels right to me yeah and I, I know if i remember the um i know a lot of people who played skyrim have, have been nods like for the first character that i played is i was i was annoyed because uh it just felt like the most human out of all the yeah. characters and like uh, I remember the first time I, I picked up Skyrim and played it. Like uh, I didn't know there was going to be Khajiit, so when I saw cat people and lizards, I was like, "What's happening? You know, what's going on?" But um, yeah, you know, like uh, I, 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 I think my favorite now is Wood Elf because I really like archery. Um, I, I love using the bow, so um, I, I tend to go with that before. But I, I've kind of, I played um, Khajiit before because I really enjoy sneaking. Uh, especially, you know, sneaking yeah. in dungeons and shooting people, and then you kind of go in and out, and no one realised you was there because you were so quiet. It's just, yeah. I don't know. It's it's a satisfaction, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really it's like I'd say it's the funnest way to play. If you yeah. you're just sneaking up behind people and taking them out, it's just you get such a good feeling, like, and you don't have to waste your time battling. Yeah, and because um, you know, it's like sometimes it, it does become like a clusterfuck, you know, when you've got so many Draugr running after you, and it's just easier to sneak through and take them out one by one oh, and yeah. pick them off, you know. And yeah. The, some of the, I say some of my best dungeons that I've done before have definitely always been sneaking, because, you know, you get some of the, I think some of the best shots, you know, from sneaking positions from archery. Oh, yeah. I, like, I love the kill cams you get when you're, like, sneaking up behind someone or you're shooting them yeah or just, they just look so cool uh, oh yeah especially especially when um i think the best ones is when you're on like a higher ledge and you're shooting down at someone because it just see it follows the projectile all the way through the head or something and you see the body fall and yeah just, it's just it's funny so um yeah what I, weapons do you talk, normally use do you normally use sword and shield or um well at the beginning of the game i stick to i stick to maces because you normally get a lot early on yeah and um but once i'm later on in the game i'll get like the spell bound bow and that's pretty much one of the best bows yeah it's in a, the game yeah i remember the first time um i got that i was it, it's the damage that you can get from it is so much more than all the other oh bows, yeah there. yeah and inc- increasing like is it alteration with that one yeah alteration yeah no, and no, you can oh, just do it, so it, much it, damage it, it's alteration or illusion i think the armor's alteration but is that illusion <laughs> I, I have no clue. Illusion. I think it's illusion. It's one of the two anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I actually need to get that in my let's play cuz I've been putting it off. Yeah. <laughs> it's I remember the first like the first time that I come across it because um I didn't know that was a th- that was a thing. You know, I thought the bows you could get you could either craft them or find them. And then when I saw yeah. the spell it was like it's like bound um bound bound bow isn't it? Something like that. And yeah, it's bound 
I'm Bo. Yeah, so I was just like, what is it? And then it's got that kind of ghostly feel to it, hasn't it? The way it looks with the blue, it just looks cool. Yeah, it's like blue, blue transparent. It looks it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what do you, do you generally stick with the mace for a long, all the way until you use the bow, or do you kind of mix it up a bit with magic? Um, well, I'm just going to use an example of like my gameplay. I have a lot of pre-recorded episodes, yeah. but... Um, about halfway through what I have, I get what I already have is I have the mace of Mola like ball, I think. I love that um, weapon because it takes up like half the screen, doesn't it? It just feels cool. Just oh, yeah. It. Yeah, it's it's so it just does so much damage. It's just awesome to yeah, use. It's, it's badass, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, totally badass. Yeah. And then um, I, I like getting a lot of the Daedric weapons because it just makes you like feel more powerful, you know, because you get it from some hired whatever yeah yeah the them quests are so much fun like my favorite daedric prince is shay goroth because he's just a nutcase have you, have you done that quest yeah. before um i probably have I, yeah i need to like go through everything i've done i, pr I could probably recognize it if i saw it if, believe me it'll jump out to you if, you if you've played it before like um the he just talks like bonkers you know like there's a um, there's a quest in oblivion where um you go to his lair which is called cheesemonger's grove because he really loves cheese, and everything was made of cheese, and you fight cheese monsters and things like that. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh yeah, it's like it's it's questionably part of the DLC, the Shivering Isles DLC. In Skyrim, you go to like his his plane of oblivion, and he's like having a meal at a table, and he sat down, and there's just loads of food, and he's teasing you like where your stuff is because you're trying to find out a way to get out, and he literally talks nonsense. It's hilarious. That sounds awesome. It is. It's, it is. Yeah. It's, I think you find the quest in Solitude. It's in near the um, near where do you know where General Tullius is based? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's like one of the buildings off the side of there. You go into the wing, and it's, you just talk to a random character, like a random NPC, and then it will just set you off on it because it just automatically takes you there, and you, you're just like, what's happening? And you're there for about a good half an hour, and it, it's it's crazy. It's it's one of the best quests in the game. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I gotta do that. Yeah, like if you look up on how to find it on YouTube or something, it's it'd be funny for the Let's Play anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you have um, so you said that you played um, uh, Oblivion briefly, and you played a bit of Morrowind. Do you have a, a favorite province, a favorite country? Um, that's that's a really hard question because they're all like so unique, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't like um. I I think. Do you know, Oblivion is so colourful at times, you know, that the grass is actually green. Yeah. Uh, I, I really yeah. appreciated that. I think I think um, because of that, it makes, you know, the vistas when you're looking out over a cliff and you see everything. It, I think it looks, like, really good because of all the colours involved. Like, with Skyrim, it looks really cool close up because it's, like, more realistic and much more of, like, a Viking feel, hasn't it? Yeah, they put so much more detail on the close-ups, but, like... When you're far away, just it, it sort of gets out, out of focus. Yeah, yeah, and like the, like the mountains look really cool, you know, in Skyrim. The mat, just walking around, you know, there's been so many times when I've like looked up to the sky or looked at the mountains in the distance. It just looks cool. Yeah, yeah, and there's been too many times when I've got lost in them, you know, trying to find a shortcut. Oh yeah, yeah, and so many um, horses' lives have been taken. Oh uh, yeah, that mountains and horses are the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I can I think, you know, like the, the different the difference. Is, the good thing about the Elder Scrolls series is that they can do a different country for each game, so that when you go to the next one, you don't really know what to expect, and they have a different feel to it. I think yeah, that's, I think like, that's the benefit of the series. Yeah, the nice thing is, is like, in the previous games, they never had anything with any snow, like Morrowind and uh, uh, Oblivion. It was yeah. more, it was more of like a like I don't know how to explain it. It's like more green and everything I know and in mean. Skyrim yeah, you have like more in, snow yeah because like uh, Cyrodiil is like in these kind of like you know Knights of the Round Table kind of feel to it where you know like everything's sunny everything's growing everything looks beautiful and in Skyrim yeah, it's like yeah. Vikings of the North isn't it you know like uh, yeah everything's like dark and cold yeah it's yeah I, I, I like that because it sticks to the you know the kind of geography of it as well because you know Skyrim's in the North and uh, yeah it's there's been so many you know there's so many different countries and there's so many different um so many different areas in like feel to them because have you heard of about have you heard of Valenwood, one of the countries in Tamriel? Um, I don't think I have. It's a country where the wood elves are from, and um, 
it's basically a jungle you know it's like a huge rainforest and it's got mountains and sand dunes as well it's like it's got everything in it and like, I've, I've always thought it'd be really cool to explore that and um it's it's one of the best countries in the elder scrolls online because um, oh, yeah, so you can go there in the Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, ESO has um, it's got bits of every country in the. Oh, game. cool! Yeah, it's got um, I can. They're not as obviously graphically. They don't look as cool as the say the single player games. They're not as dense because they have to spread it out because you know it's an MMO to oh, get yeah. all the quests in. But you know, it's still it's still got that feel. Like you can go to all of the nine countries, which is cool. That's pretty cool. It is, yeah. Like they haven't got. They, they're saying they're gonna open all of that every single part of it up from through dlc and stuff and expansions but because like only parts of it are open in each one so far so wow. yeah and the, 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 one of the good parts of it is that you the, you kind of go through it gradually through through leveling like you don't have that openness as do you know scam do you know scam like when you first come out of helgen you can kind of go anywhere and do whatever you want can't you yeah, like, you don't. Really, it's just like okay. Yeah, you know, it's like do what you want. It's your playground, you know. Like, but you you don't really have that in ESO because like the the way the enemies are leveled, they're all leveled to their area. So you know, it's like level one to three in this bit, and then four to five in the next bit. You know, so you, oh, you okay. Kind of, you kind of stayed within your bandwidth of your area, which, to be honest, I didn't really enjoy, but it does suit well as an MMO. Uh, cool. Yeah. I, I I didn't realize that like they had so many areas. I'm still just thinking about that i thought that it was just one giant like another continent or oh, province oh no it's, it's it's a it's the whole continent of tamriel it's got skyrim and everything in there like um like the way that i can say to it is that um there's three zones in each in each alliance because there's three different alliances and then skyrim is like the size of a third of one of the zones the game's huge it's like a ninth of the entire game oh wow yeah it's, it is huge it's massive so, um, if you come across a, a favorite quest, uh, is it going to be one of the Dark Brotherhood quests of your favorite ones in the Elder Scrolls games? Um, well, mainly, like, you know, have you ever played with the uh, Thieves Guild quest? Yeah, or... the Thieves Guild quest, like, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, the Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood, they're just my overall, like, they have my the best quests ever. When you just, you know, like, Dark Brotherhood, when you're sneaking around, yeah, and you just go, like, take someone out it's just the best feeling so those are definitely my favorite quests i don't have a specific one yeah uh, yeah i understand like um i think my favorite quest is do you know have you done the siege on right one before through, through the storm um, of the imperials i actually have never done anything for those like oh, the, the, the the whole war thing oh the, the civil wars are, it's a great quest line I'd, I'd i'd say the dark brotherhood and thieves guild are at the top i'd say that along with yourself but then I'd say below that is the Civil War. It's a really, it's so much fun, you know, like, because um, you're kind of a part of an army, so you're attacking, like, caves and to find kind of relics, which are, which will kind of help you with the war effort. And then you siege Whiterun, so as an army you attack Whiterun, or as an army you defend Whiterun, depending on what side you go on. Wow, okay, yeah. I, I thought that you would just do, like, you know... Go grab this, but do you do you have like the actual people with you? Yeah, you have you have the you can you kind of like have troops with you, and then in the very last um, quest, you have kind of have, like you're a part of like an army. Say like, there's not a many a lot of people there, but you've got about say about forty people, and there's like a the leader oh, wow. of the faction kind of giving you a war speech before you attack and stuff. It's it's a really cool quest line. Yeah, I, I need to do that. I never realized it was that good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. It's um. The way you do it, if you want to go to the Stormcloak side, you go to um, Windhelm and talk to Wolfric Stormcloak, or you talk to General Tullius in um, Solitude. It, it, okay. Depending on Serve which on side you want to go. Depending on which side you want to go. Like, it, like if you're a Nord, it's probably best doing the Stormcloaks because they're kind of like racist Nords who don't like any other race and kind of doing it for free Skyrim. Uh, you've probably heard that before in the game. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. There's a lot of different stuff in there. Like, and do you have um, a favorite armor do you, that you kind of like? Why do you like tend to wear like wearing medium armor or heavy armor, light armor, so you can um, do sneaking? I prefer heavy armor. Yeah. And I... then um, there there's this perk so that your armor doesn't weigh anything or like makes less noise. And yeah. The heavy armor tree. Yeah. And I just always go for that. That's actually what I'm going for probably in my next video when I level up. Yeah. Yeah, because it, um, it it gives you that sneaking that you can, that you tend to do in a light armor character, but with a heavy armor character. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and um, you, and you can keep your health really high as well because you've got that, you know, you've got the big armor to go with you. Yeah, and the heavy armor just looks, uh, to me, it looks so much cooler than the light armors because you're actually like really covered. Yeah. And it looks like real armor. Yeah, I love the um, I love the imperial armor. Do you know the imperial heavy armor because it's like Roman kind of feels. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I think um, yeah, I'd agree with you. The heavy armor is the best. And um, have you come across the armor of the gods before? Um, I have actually. Yeah. I think that looks kind of cool because it's like um, it's kind of like welded together by like it's like bits of animal, isn't it? On. Yeah. Maybe. That's that, like... that that big deer head or whatever yeah. that is. That, yeah. <laughs> Like, I remember the first time I got that, and I, I did, quickly went into third person just to see my character, and I was just thinking, like, like what is going on? You know, what's he going uh, on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they have they have really good perks, too. Yeah. yeah like, and um, they, they, they kept the enchantment for so long as well, because usually when you find enchantments and armor, they last for, like, a few quests, and that's it, and then it's kind of diminished, hasn't it? But then you've got to recharge it, but it, it, it just seemed to last forever, the enchantment. Yeah. Thing. So, um... I, I mainly just... Go on. Sorry, go on. Yeah, you, you, you go. You got it. All right, you realize well, you're going to talk. Like, I just, uh, um... On a couple... I think it was the helmet and the boots I kept, and the rest of them I got rid of, so I could actually put them on another piece of armor. Yeah. But, um... Mainly it was just because the helmet looked so cool, and yeah. I didn't want to get rid of that perk. <laughs> yeah. Like, in... The, yeah, because the, the body kind of looks a bit like a towel, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah like, it just looks like a rag. And um, enchant enchanting is so overpowered as well, you know, in Skyrim, oh, yeah. especially on your weapons. Yeah, and um, I, I somehow I found this piece of armor. It gives an extra forty like health points. Yeah. And where I'm at in the game, that is so helpful. Yeah. And just the fact that you can put on like extra carry weight, extra health, extra stamina is so good. Yeah. Along with like, if you have good armor. It just, it's so overpowered. Yeah, there's so many different options to enchant, you know, and it's not just the one, like, because I've played, you've played so many games before where it's just like you can only, you can either add health or like add stamina, you know, you can do, you can, like, the ends are limitless, you know, you can do anything with it. Yeah, especially when you get the, when you get higher up on the enchanting skill, you can put two enchantments yeah. on one piece of armor. Yeah. That's the best, because you... You're never really gonna have like armor that's oh and like, like any other because you can put whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. That that's what that's one of the perks that like always goes on immediately. You know when it's available. For me. Yeah. So um, what's your favorite thing to do in Skyrim? Is it kind of quest questing, crafting, kind of cause chaos? I I'd, I'd say, cause chaos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it if it gives me uh like if people try to kill me like the guards with bounty yeah I'll try to stay away from that but um in my let's my let's play thingy I yeah. actually that quest that you get the armor of the gods from yeah you know how you uh I think it's um Morthal or something yeah Morthal yeah yeah and you take out all the guards there yeah. So they all hate me, and yeah. my for some reason my bounty didn't go away. Oh, didn't it? <laughs> it no, I have over like sixteen thousand. Okay, ah, uh, <laughs> oh, have you have you not done the Sydney Mine quest yet? No. Ah, uh, that's why, because it leads to a quest. Yeah, yeah. I, I should probably continue through that, but I actually I have a Dark Brotherhood quest in Morthal. Okay. <laughs> and, and I go up to find her. And all of a sudden, um, you know that bar where it shows, you know, northwest, east, yeah. and uh, where your where the enemies are. Yeah, yeah. It's it was full. covered in red, <laughs> and I look up, and there's, a, I'd say, forty guards just running at me, <laughs> and I was like, oh god, I need to get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's quite the big bounty, I'll say. But, uh, yeah, I I really gotta fix that. Yeah, <laughs> like um, like if. There is a quest in Morthal because there's a there's a prison, in in under the, uh, like because Morthal's the one with the big waterfall, isn't it? Or is that yeah. Marker? Yeah, yeah, it is it is. So um, if you ever go if you ever go there, it kind of it puts you into this prison called Sidna Mine, and there's a bit of a story to do with that as well. I I'm I'm not sure. Is Sidna Mine the one where you have to uh, fight that guy? Yeah, you fight the guy you and then brawl break him. out. Yeah, you brawl him. Yeah, with yeah. the shears. Yeah. So. We did break out, but is there anything after that? Because 
Oh, if you've done I, that, then I, I did all that. If you've done that, then I don't know. Like, I think you're a bit screwed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do. I, I've heard, I've seen on the loading screens how you can get rid of a bounty. Yeah. For you know a price, but I don't really want to waste gold because it's not affecting pl me playing the actual game right now. It sounds like you're paying a, a paying. We'll be paying a lot of gold. You know, like, what is it? Fourteen thousand bounty. Uh, some yeah, somewhere <laughs> it's in the it's in the like five digits. So. <laughs> Uh, that's quite incredible, to be honest. <laughs> I hadn't heard that be yeah. right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, what's your next steps in your Let's Play? Kind of what quests are you going to do in future? Um, I really need to start thinking about this because what I've been doing is just kind of randomly doing stuff. Yeah. And I'll, um, like, I'll see a piece of armor that I want on the loading screen and I'll look, look up how to get it or something yeah, like yeah. that. And, um, like, uh, as we were talking about earlier, my favorite weapons, I, I move towards daggers mainly because, of course, the sneak, and I get 15% extra, or 15 times extra damage. Yeah, yeah, from the sneak attack, yeah. Yeah, and, um, there's this dagger, it's a Daedric artifact, and it has a chance, it's called Mayroon's Razor, it has a chance yeah. to one-shot people. Yeah. And it is, like, by far the best weapon I've ever used, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it looks so funny when you one shot someone and they go flying. <laughs> yeah, like that's the beauty of an Elder Scrolls game, you know, to be able to like look at something and go like that looks cool, you know, I want to get that, and then go out and get it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they actually did a really good job uh, with the loading screens because you do see them a lot, so they pack a lot of information in them. Yeah, like yeah, they are the I'd say like the best loading screens, you know, for a game because normally loading screens are like a picture of like a person and go like a person you've already seen before and it's like the same yeah and it's thing? the same it's the same thing yeah like because there's been so many times you know like you you read the messages at the bottom do you know like cause sometimes it shows like a, a gray beard or something and they'll say like that talk about dragon chess i was like no i was reading it and then it skips forward and you're like, no yeah yeah there's been too many of them had times a lot where it... just go on yeah I've, there's been too many of them times and that's happened to me when i've been trying to read something on the loading screen it's gone forward or I've, lo I've been looking at like the picture and do you know because you can spin it round yeah it's like sometimes like the armor sets that are on it look really really cool and you just want to look at more of it so you're spinning around and then it just cuts to the quest it's like oh no i was just watching looking at the picture <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i've had it i've had it so like i'm reading something and it's actually it actually like looks pretty cool like something i'd want to know and i missed the last two sentences and i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um are you, are you the kind of person that goes around reading do you know reading the books in the old scores games because i know there's a lot of people that read um, um I, I don't actually read yeah well i have before i can't say i don't read but um sometimes you'll find really weird stories in the books yeah. and stuff like that but um i i mainly just open them up look at the first page and then like take it or leave it yeah for the the skills you get from them yeah yeah <laughs> yeah like, and one thing that i i used to do you know at the beginning was take a load of books and feel like well i'll read this later you know when i'm not doing anything or when i'm a bit bored i'll, I'll yeah. take them and read them later and then my, my my bag space my inventory was like full of books of weight and i was like i had to like minimize like i won't read that i won't read that and it just got crazy it just got out of hand uh, but, yeah, um, I've, I've done the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> but um, one of the books that I've read, have you heard of a book called Alduin is Real? Yes. Yeah, and it's just like a nod, like Alduin is Real, I've seen it, and like, everything's spelt wrong. Like, it's just like this nod who's a bit stupid, who wrote it, and he like, sc sc like scrawled it, and like it's not like a proper beautiful handwriting, it's like scratched on and everything. I, I haven't read it. Oh, it's hilarious. I've seen the book before. It's hilarious. If next time you see it, just read it, because like... It just talks like he spells everything wrong and like speaks like it, like an idiot. Basically, it's funny. <laughs> He's got yeah. bad grammar and everything. Yeah, uh, like sentences are jumbled up. He like skips pages like for words and everything. It's funny. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So um, I think we're pretty much at the end of the video. So um, if you want to say what you got coming up on the channel in the future and everything. Yeah. Um, I've got like. I haven't really decided yet, but I've got a uh, a lot of videos coming out on um, PS3 and PC games like H1Z1. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm hoping to do, like I said earlier, the ESO games. Yeah. But I don't know how that's going to turn out. But, um, yeah, I'll just do a lot of, a lot more Skyrim and Destiny videos, like tips, tricks, stuff like that. Yeah. And we'll be doing a video together. Yeah. So if, if you ever play ESO, just hit me a message, you know, I'll come on with you sometime. Kind All of, like, right, I will. Ropes, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think we've pretty much come to the end of the video. Do you have a Twitter account that you want people to follow or anything? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's TWT Gaming. Yeah, and do you have a, do you have a Twitch? You stream? Uh, I, I do. That's also the Wizard Tim. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, oh. uh, all the links are in the description below. So, uh, yeah, it's been great having you on the video. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, please like, comment, and also subscribe to join the fellow Decorans. Goodbye.